in a month with so many new games that it's hard to know what to play first. One YouTube channel was brave enough to take a stand and say, all those titles will still be around next week. This is a Halloween episode, and it's not like any big horror games came out recently. The dark place had reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Not now, Alan. I've got a dame to save. Grim Fandango. Revisit the glory days of gaming, when the console wars didn't even know what an Xbox was, and point-and-click adventures reign supreme. Okay, look, I'm not saying all games would be improved with a Monkey Island-style insult fight. You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. But it would have made Elden Ring a whole lot funnier. And you know I've got plenty of rhyming singers for Margaret. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> Dive in to one of the best games of the genre. A combination of the Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, and an approximation of Latin American culture and folklore, as interpreted by a white dude named Tim. Ah, authentico. But hey, at least Tim knows how to ask the right questions. Like, is it possible for a skeleton leg to be sexy? Yes, yes it is. Explore the afterlife, surprisingly lively Purgatory District, where everyone you meet hates you on sight, no one can leave because heaven is for rich people. And even death won't free us from capitalism. Not the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class. Which means everyone is forced to work a literal dead-end job until they get that magical golden ticket to the heavy side layer. <laughs> Take up the scythe of Manny Calvera, a down-on-his-luck travel agent, whose afterlife takes a turn for the interesting, thanks to the arrival of the most alluring creature this side of the sticks. No, not her. Aw, there he is, my beautiful orange boy. Look how good he can drive. <laughs> then untangle a complicated corporate conspiracy by conning everyone you meet all to help a dame you accidentally doomed in an epic of skeletal proportions that you'll struggle to keep track of as you wade through bullshit puzzle after bullshit puzzle. Okay, I didn't know when they said the game was immersive, it would mean I'd be stuck in limbo too. But come on, be honest. Did any of you actually make it past El Moro without a game guide? You don't have to answer that. It can be our little secret. Click furiously through Grim Fandango's gameplay as you take ridiculous leaps of logic just to progress even a little bit, while juggling items that you already know how to use but can't seem to find the right stuff to use them on. In an adventure game so stuffed to the gills with red herrings, you'll start to wonder if you really did beat the game all those years ago, or if you were just part of some LucasArts-produced mass hallucination. And if you're one of those internet dudes that did it raw no guy 360, then I hope you're enjoying your job at MIT and not still working at Best Buy. But if you are, just remember what Manny taught you. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it! So grab your best suit, practice your slam poetry, and get ready to rev up the bone wagon in the Citizen Kane of point-and-click games with a similar convoluted plot, similar compelling twists, and a similar relatable fantasy. Watching the most annoying guy from work absolutely beef it. <laughs> Starring Humphrey Bonegard, Shut Up and Drive, The Mob from Wizards of Waverly Place, Walking HR Complaint, The Ungrateful Dead, My Wife, The Revolution Will Not Be Scalabized, She's Got a Bone to Pick With Us, <sighs> We Don't Talk About Bruno, His Flag Means Death, Al Cabone, Bonjour, Femur Fatal, Bad to the Bone, and Twitter, Coco Blanca. Hey, did you know Grim Fandango was GameSpot's Game of the Year in 1998? I don't actually have a joke here. I just think if that happened today and Fandango won over Half-Life, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy Tactics, and StarCraft, 
Someone definitely would have burnt the place down. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. I'll be back after I take a spooky dookie. What? You're still here? Go home. The movie's over. Go. Give up. Give in. But don't give out. Anakin, better start panicking. I don't have a planikin. Happy Halloween. Mwahahahaha. <laughs>